Ava is not coming tonight. Her mom is sick. Can't give her a ride. So Chandler, we're going to let you do the opening prayer when we're ready to start here in a few minutes. Oh, here's work that you actually... that she feels better. That's Ava's mom. Actually, her name is Mrs. She still goes by Bruff, Mrs. Bruff. Pray for Landon. Why for Landon? Why not? I mean, I can think of a thousand reasons. <laughs> I mean, look, the boy's got serious problems. <laughs> and he doesn't deny it. Just, just take all the prayers you can get, right? Mm hmm. You better believe it. He'll be doing much better in a few minutes, though, because a few cookies in you, you'll be, you'll be good to go. I think I'm ready. You think you're ready? Yeah. All right. We are praying. Mrs. Bruff, uh, please um, help Mrs. Bruff and Landon <laughs> in, in, in Jesus' name. Right? Yes, nice. Yeah. Good job. Good job. What? <laughs> She's not feeling good, so we prayed for her. There we go. Quiz. All right. Yeah. First thing up is the quiz. It's on the back of your. Is it easy? Main lesson paper. They're always easy. They're not multiple not choice. Yeah, they're not multiple choice. Oh, no. They're not multiple choice. You have to be smart, oh, no. But you don't have to draw any graphs or anything. Oh, good. Whew. This is a quiz? Yes. No multiple choice? No. <laughs> just, this is it. Just gotta, oh, this one is last week. Gotta read the answers. Oh, when was last week, though? When it's multiple choice? These are not hard questions. Yeah, they are. Wait. You didn't even read them yet. <laughs> I forgot the first one. Huh? I forgot the first one, but I think I remember. You it. forgot the first one? How do you forget? Wait, I, did, I don't even know the first one. Wait. So you, did, so you still have not watched the video of that class that everybody missed. <laughs> Wait, I do know it. I do know it now. This was January. Wait. I know January 5th. I've been waiting to get to that. All these attributes of God. I have too much schoolwork. I have an 11 and... Oh, oh, it's right there. Oh, it's it's hold on. Oh, you just hold on. You're just supposed to look for it there. Oh, wait. The attributes of God are up there. And everything else we talked about last week. Oh, wait. 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 Oh, wait.
can move this back so everybody can see the pictures. There we go. Can we look in the... the, the you can look in the Bible all you want. Wait, can we look in the catechism? You'll never find it in the catechism. Just write them down. The pictures are right there. No, 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 for number two. Write them down. Wait for number two. Number two. Not easy. Even... You won't find that in the catechism. Oh. It's easy. Just five things. I mean, it's so easy. You memorized it for your, for your homework. Oh, yeah. No, you cannot look at the tablets. Wait, that's just wrong. Wait. The, 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 the purpose of the quiz is to help just help you review and remember. Oh my gosh, I'm learning. If you don't get a perfect score, you'll be okay. Got one question done. Not. Yeah, Two ways that God provides what we need to live. That's three. That's, that's, that's very three. easy. That's number three. I did that. Number four? Yeah. How does God use you to help provide for the needs of others? That's even easier. How? That's so confusing. That's confusing? Yeah. I overthink. Honestly, I'm guessing on number three. What? I'm guessing number three. Number three is easy. That's the, 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 the one, two, three is not wow. easy. Number four is hard. Now number four is hard. Number four is easy. And one more for that one. Uh, I forget what that one word was. Well, I know what it one means. Word. Wait, it's it's oh, one of the pictures. Oh, I know what it means, but I forgot what the word was for. Ignore what I crossed out, okay? I will ignore what you crossed out. Can you just erase it? Oh, y'all have pens. Yeah. Pencil. No, I'm a. No, if you have the same scribble on your paper as Isabel, I'll know you copied over her. No, he's just angry <laughs> at he, he's just like really writing. I'm really good at writing. Cover it off later, you know? Can I just like skip number four? Can I skip number two? I don't know what to put. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh, okay. No, wait, number no, two's wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'll give you a little more. Wait, how will you grade this? He's gonna take his time and go very check, check, sternly. Check, check. No, but like, there's a bunch of different answers you can put for all of these. So then he'll. Who is wrong? If it right sounds wrong. like a right answer, it will be correct. If it's obviously wrong, it will be wrong. Duh. Wait. Yeah, if you write down monkeys at the zoo for any of those, it's wrong. Oh. oh so that's what you crossed out in your paper. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. You guys ready? Okay. No, okay. no, wait, please. Right, right, right. Like, five more minutes. But no, 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 no. Like three. Five more seconds. No, five. I'm not even done number three yet. Four. Three. Two. All right, well, so I guess I'm not doing number three. These are the attributes of God. We could have picked any five of these. God is spirit. God is eternal. God is unchanging. Yes. God is almighty. God is all-knowing. God is everywhere. God is holy. I mean, you should have at least gotten this one. <laughs> oh, I'm God. holy! Oh, yeah. God is just. Long God is was. faithful. God is good. God is merciful. God is gracious. God is love. And God is triune. What's triune mean? No, no, wait, every question. What's triune mean? You tell me. What's triune mean? All-powerful. Wait. No. All-powerful means all-powerful. Wait, I have a question. All-knowing? All-knowing means all-knowing. Does any raiseful and caring count? Wait. Say that again? Does unerasable and caring count? Yes, I'll take these pieces. Wait, what about this? Well, like, oh. and... Yeah, we're not going to do that. I'm looking for Bill Gates after I said my name is Bill Gates. We're looking for Bill Gates. All right. What the heck? First it was William, then it would turn to Bill Gates. Well, you can't his life counts. That's your Uncle Bill, is, is Bill Gates. I'm only talking about the rich man, the rich one. The, oh, okay. Wait, <laughs> so your Uncle Bill is not very rich. So does unchangeable count as no. unchangeable? 
Yes. I was yes. talking to you, was I? <laughs> yes. That is, that is the What about his life? What? I was like everywhere, his life. That's not an attribute of uh, I got all five. If you wrote down these everywhere, that counts. Dang it. One out of five. Hard <laughs> uh, You got holy though, right? Yeah, I got holy. Mm-hmm. I got five out of five. I got so. five out of five. All right. No, five things no, that God provided for us from reading of the first article. Job. I believe Good. that God Good. has oh. made me and all creatures. He has my eyes, ears, my reason, all my senses, and still says carries them. Well, so oh, here they have clothing and shoes, food and drink, house and home, land and animals, wife, children, and all that I have. Wait, does life count? No. Life? What about jobs? Not in this. What about a house? Yes. What about air? Four out of five. Oh, oh, yeah. Question. No. Air? Things that you need to support this body and life would not include life. Air. Wait, uh, wait, question. That's not from the small category. Wait, wait does plants, plants count? Four out of five. Plants? Plants. Four out of plants. five. Plants. Boom. Two out of five. So I have five in total. Oh, you got it. Yeah. He's a dude. I'll take it. I'll take it. Do friends count? Friends? <laughs> yeah. So I think like jobs count. count. You're not lonely. Um, not, um, a half. I'll give you a half for uh, friends. What about job? A half. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a half for a job. Let's go with that 4.5 out of 5. Oh. Wait, should you give me a half for air? No. No, no, no. Okay. I got 4.5 out of 5 on that one. I got right. 3.5. Two ways that God provides what we need to live. Food I got nothing on that. Shelter? No. It's ways that he provides. Not Shelter. what does he provide. Ways that he provides. I said Remember we did A to Z list? I meant stores. I meant stores. I meant you did stores. not say I, that. I put stores. Look, S-T-O-R-E-S. Stores. Stores. Food and water. St- do stores count? Stores. The, no, it's provides. What we said last week was God provides a fruitful earth. He gives you jobs. He gives you the ability to work. So any two of those would count. Oh, so, ha, is your attitude, too? <laughs> That's right. I got zero out two already. And I how does God it. help use you to help provide for the needs of others? This one's hard. Oh, it is not. Yes, it is. We help people, da- we help people daily, right? Okay. Does, it says, how does God use you to help provide for he, the needs of others? He, he told us how to help others. No. But that's what he told you to do. But how does God use by praying. you that should count. to provide for the needs of others? That should count by praying. By praying and, and helping them and. and out. The Bible says if you see somebody without food or clothing and you simply say, I hope things get better for you, it doesn't go any good. So I got, so a, I, I got it wrong. I got a 5.5. So I got it wrong. Jimmy, how did you answer it, Michaela? Anything? Or how God uses us? 5, 10, 12. Please, John. Uh-huh. 5.5 out of 13. Okay. I have 9.5 out of 13. Uh, 5.5. God uses us. We we can share what we have with other people. If we have more than we need, we can give other people what they need. Here's you hear a that, Lady? Lady, did you hear that? Huh? When we have more than we need, we share it with others and help them get what they need. I just shared my pretzel with my So God gives account. us things that we can use to help other people. That's how God does it. I got an 8.5 out of 13. I got, I got 9.5 out of 13. I got 9.5 out of 13. Okay, passing grade is a 10. Uh, we all failed. Ah. <laughs> you failed. Do my friends count? No. I don't care. Can it please be at a seven? A seven no. Wait, wait. Oh, if God. I give Lane another pretzel, seven not, is like less than half. Yeah. If I give Lane what another about, pretzel, can, um, I, can I have <laughs> 0.5? No. What about a 5.5? You should say 5.5 is passing. No. Okay, Landon, how did the first article go? Did you get it right? Yes. Okay. Did I believe in God. The Father, maker of heaven and earth. Very good. Okay, so. Oh. The Father Almighty. God the Father. I wasn't okay. done. I didn't. God the Father, the maker of heaven and earth. And in. I'm still going. Keep going. Yep. Maker of heaven and earth. And in. Who? And in. And in. Okay, just pretend you're in church. Say it three. Let's say it together. I believe in God the Father oh, Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. earth. And in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, very good. I believe it's okay. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. And then the third article. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Thank you.
So the creed, I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So God is triune, remember? So we are going to focus now on Jesus. Okay? I believe in Jesus. Okay? And the big question today is who is Jesus? God. Alright? No. He is God. Yep. Yes. But what? Jesus is God. Really? Yes. You didn't know that. That's like kindergarten stuff. I'll throw a pepper at you. Yeah, my little sister probably knows that. She's a. I would I'm hope so. Reason. Alright, there's, there's ranch again. You can do your cooking. I am. Later what on. does the name Jesus mean? Oh, I remember this one. Oh, I forgot it though. This um, is question three. You know what it is, but you forgot it though. I, I, I was taught this before. It was like. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I forgot it. I was taught this before. And here's some clues. It means the same thing as Joshua in the Old Testament. <laughs> I'm asking you, what does that mean? I don't know. My little brother's uh, name is Joshua. Why did they name him Jesus? Let's look it up. Because the angel told them to. Right, why? Uh, yeah, why? Matthew 1, 21. Y'all are like a wait. Find it. Found it. Wait, share what page? Find it very quickly. Matthew what? 121. 121. Never business. I'm on it already. What page? Right. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna have you. In your face. Wait. I'm gonna. I found Matthew. Matthew. I got it. I win. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got. Read it and then tell me. Wait, wait, wait. Eight on me. Read it, Lynn. You got it. <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the page. Exactly. It's not. Wait. wait. One point what? Can Chapter I see one. It? Verse twenty-one. Emmanuel. No, for me. Am I right? Not for you. Am I right? Does it mean Emmanuel? Me. I am. Okay. I'm waiting to hear the verse right now. Okay. One point one. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Right. The name Jesus literally means Savior. Okay? He will save his people from their sins. He came to save us from our sins. Chandler, how did Jesus save us from our sins? Uh, he uh, takes away our sins. Now, how did oh. he save us from our sins? He died on the cross. He died on the cross. Okay. He took the punishment for our sins, so we are not punished. He was punished, and we are forgiven. Very good. Okay. This is an easy one. Now, Christ. What does Christ mean? No. Any idea? Um, see? Um, no, 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 no. It is not a name. It is a, a title. Emmanuel? No. Emmanuel means God with us. Uh, well, you don't know why. You're quick laughing at me. Did you ever hear uh, the word christening? No. No? Christian. 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 Uh. You christen something. Christ means the anointed one. And this will always be on the quiz, so you'll want to get this. Anointed one. What does it mean to be anointed? Anoint. No, no. not anoint. Anointed. What's it? How do you anoint? Pick. What is it? Pick. Huh? No, I, what is it? No one's laughing because I can't spell it. <laughs> it's right on the board. I know. I know you're supposed to still spell it. In the Old Testament, when they were uh, setting somebody aside to be a prophet or a priest or a king, they poured oil on their heads. It was symbolic that they were being set aside for a special duty. So the anointed one uh, basically means Jesus is the chosen one. Oh my God. Especially, like he is the promised one. He is the one that God said would come to save his people. So, whenever I ask you, it's anointed one. God chose him, and as we're going to talk about later, Jesus was a prophet, a priest, and a king. So, that's important. Okay, so Isabel, what does Christ mean? The anointed one? The anointed one. Very good. Okay. All right. I took totally when I choked on a pretzel. Question four. How do you know that Jesus is really God? Because he can walk on so water and heal people Wait, and feed people. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, miracles, like walking on water, uh, 
feeding people. What else? What else did Jesus do that only God? He healed did? people. Healed he, people. I he said that one. Told his death. Okay. Yeah. He talked about what would happen ahead of time, and it happened. He um. What else did Jesus do that only God can do? He made. He resurrected. Water into wine. Rose from the dead. That's good. Did he generate water? That's Moses. That was Moses. Long person. He right? walked on water. Walked on water. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Me. I don't remember. I said we said uh, <laughs> walked on water. He made water into wine. Yeah, he water fed into wine. Five thousand people. Or said that? No, you didn't. Thank you. Let's see. He said resurrection. I mean. Healed. You think of anything else? Things that Jesus did that only a God could do. <laughs> you okay? A God. Are you good? Uh, what's it, what does Christ mean, Isabel? I'm the anointed one. Thank you. Mm-hmm. He calmed the storm. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, I wrote that down on my homework. Thank you. Okay. What else? Um, and Jesus did that only a God can do. Who made these cookies? I really don't know. Why are random cookies showing up out of nowhere? Because we like cookies. I don't trust this. This is how you get weird. They're good cookies. Yeah, what's on poison dog? Anything else you can think of? Oh, we got, um... Uh, somebody yeah. said he prophesied. He said what was going to happen and happened. He said he was going to die and rise, and he actually died and he goes again. Um. You think of anything else? All right. How do you know that Jesus was human? Because he died. He was. Re- what? What was the word again? Wait. Human. Yeah, he okay. died. He had a mother and a brother. He His died. Brothers. That's right. Because gods are immortal, right? Eternal. But Jesus died, so he must have been human. He, what else? That, how else do you know that Jesus was actually a flesh and blood person like he us? Was, he has a mother and brothers. He has a mom and a dad, okay? Um, mom, has brothers, okay? A family. What else? Under this, I'm going to say he was born. Only oh, got born. Okay. What else? What else do you know about Jesus that lets you know he was really a human being like us? He was baptized. Is that the background? Yeah, I'll put that down. Baptized. <laughs> Come on, Landon. Okay, Landon, did Jesus ever get hungry? Yes. Oh, oh my God, I didn't. That should help you think of some other things. I didn't even think about that. Hungry, what else? Got- thirsty. Yeah, thirsty. I said it first. Thirsty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you okay? No, I'm not okay. Alright. I think I eat too many cookies. How many cookies? You. Two. Okay. That's too many. What else about Jesus? <laughs> Let you know that he's human. I told you to do something like cookies. Um. Someone poisoned me. <laughs> <gasps> We're gonna get to the bottom. <laughs> um. You're not okay. He had to learn. Okay. Why what, that's what, so funny? What did Jesus have to learn? Um, math. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, when he was really young, what did Jesus have to learn? English. How to speak. He didn't speak English, but to speak, okay, and learn how to talk. Yeah. Learn how to walk, right? He was in the Middle East land. Okay. Did... He got potty trained. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'm not going to write that down, but we know it happens. <laughs> Can I write it down? Did Jesus sleep at night? Yes. yes. Why? Because he uh, got he tired. Don't die. He was tired. Well, right. go, 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 go. All right. Don't go crazy. He got tired. Are you stupid? When they go crazy. When they put the nails in his hands, what happens? He bled. He bled. He bled. No, I said yeah. it first. I said it first. He said it late. What color was it? Blood? Red. Red. I think. Blue. You never know. You, you never perfect. know. Of course it is. If you cut yourself, not. what color is your blood? Red. Thank you. Yeah. That's not a trick question. <laughs> 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 
When the woman came in and broke open the bottle of perfume and wiped it on his feet, did Jesus smell anything? Yes. Yes. Did he smell? Yes. Maybe he had COVID and he couldn't smell. I think so. Was the COVID back in the time of Jesus? No. 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 Yes. No. No. How do you know? Nice try. There was no COVID. I do feel that would be That's right. It was 2,000 years ago. Exactly. Get with the program. You don't get more. You have too many. 2,000? Yeah. This 2000 year, BC. This year, 2022. Yeah, which means it's been 2022 years since Jesus. Yeah, Lane, I know this. <laughs> you didn't realize that? No, wait, no. There's, you, you, well, it was oh, 2002 years. We're going to talk about that. No, 2002 years before, since he was born. Right. We're talking about that more next week. Wait, wait, what wait, this? Wait. What I'm saying this is AD. It's a 20,022. What does that mean? This is a good question. What does that mean? A -D. After death. Wait, I don't know. No. A-D. A-D. Where's your glasses? I don't know. Your words, After. It's N-O. I need that one. Domini. What does that mean? I have a question. That means year of our Lord. Oh. So it means that many years since Jesus was born. And yes. BC was the four crimes. So, like, did anyone die before Jesus was born? Oh, yeah, lots of people. <laughs> so, where they go? They're in BC. It depends. Before Christ. Yeah, BC. <laughs> so, they just go, it just goes black. And they're nothing. They just. Well, That's they not what. Oh my God. I'm asking a question, so I don't they, know. There are two separate timelines AD, AD and BC. <laughs> what makes the difference between being saved and not being saved? Being saved, saved okay, and there. not being saved. Yeah, but how do you... Jesus came to save us from our sins, right? Mm -hmm. Can anybody else save you from your sins? No. 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 Only, Jesus, only Jesus died for sins. Did they just so... disappear? No, oh my God. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. It's not... I'm not, we're not trying to be funny. Like, I'm just asking. Yeah. Did they go to heaven or they just disappeared? No, because... People who lived before there. Jesus yeah, looked forward to him coming. People born after Jesus look back at the Jesus who came. So everybody that believed in Jesus, they're saved. But if you don't believe in Jesus... So they already knew about him before. Yeah. The <laughs> whole Old Testament is about Jesus coming. Have you ever heard Noah's Ark? The New Testament oh, is about oh. Jesus. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, the Noah's Ark thing. <laughs> the important thing is Jesus. Some people lived before the cross and some people lived after. But Jesus is the important part. Does that make sense? Jesus is right in the middle. Yes, it does. Okay. It's kind of like your high school graduation. Before you graduate, you're looking forward to it. After you graduate, you look you're back not. at that date and you know you, you go to alumni gathering and stuff like that. <laughs> and I believe you will graduate from high school on time then. I have faith in your kids. <laughs> what about me? Do you think I will? No. What about me? You won't even graduate. You, you won't graduate. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, I I don't what, about I don't think what about me? What about me? I think you'll graduate early. Oh, let's go. I hope not. I think they'll get tired of you and just move you out ahead of time. That's I it. actually want to get my pilot's license in high school. And your pilot's license? Yeah. I'm too smart for that, so I don't need it. No, you're not. Um, you need money to take flying lessons and get your pilot's license. It's fine. Better get that job at Culver's. Oh my gosh, yeah, I gotta do that. <laughs> I forgot about that. You know Chick Fil A, they give their free workers on free food. No, you not. not free workers After, free food. That's a lot. I'm googling that right now. They get paid to like when they're done with their shit, they get food. <laughs> I'm googling this. I'm pretty sure that's a lie. Hold on. It's not a lie. That's a lie. That for Chick Fil A gets a workers free food. <laughs> they what? probably do. Uh, at the dollar office. Yeah. They're probably so like within a certain you don't amount of like, money. Bobby, somewhere the I kids are like getting right. that type of thing. Okay, everybody, good answers. So, is Jesus God? Or what do I do? Is he man? Is he human? Both. Yes, the answer is both. And that was in the memory work for today. I believe that Jesus Christ, yes, do. true God, he got to the Father from eternity, and also true man, born of the Virgin Mary, is my Lord. So he is both human and God all at the same time. That's who Jesus is. Okay? He wasn't like... Only God part of the time and man part of the time. He's not like half and half, like 
God from the waist up and human from the waist down. No, he He's all God, all human, all the time. That's who Jesus is. You have questions about that? What's that? What's that right? questions. Answer questions now. No questions. Okay. What does Christ mean, Isabel? Anointed one. Thank you. <laughs> Chosen one. What does AD mean, Chandler? Anno um, Domino. That's right. Anno oh, Domini. <laughs> Domino. Oh, Domino. Jesus is human. Jesus is God. All right, now. This is important. Number six. I will ask you these questions many, 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 many times. Okay. Why did Jesus have to be divine? That is so he can take away our sins. Right? That's part of the answer. Right Dang there. it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And then seven will be why did he have to be human? And up have A and B also. A is. To rise from the dead. Okay, this is why it had to be God. Oops. It had to be human in order to die. Okay? So if he's going to die in our place, he's got to be human. But if he's going to come back from the dead, oh. he's got to be divine. So. And B was. To be born. Well, okay. kind of. To be under the law. The law. But B here is to keep the law. So to be under the law means Jesus had to do everything the law says. So what does the law do, Isabel? Like the government law? No, the law in the Bible. What are the two main messages in the Bible, Isabel? The, the, the law and the gospel. The law and the gospel. What does the law do? Shows our... Sin. Yes, shows yes, our sin. It's right there. Shows our sin. And what's the gospel do, Chandler? Shows our Savior. Shows our Savior. So, the law is God's do's and don'ts, and Jesus had to be subject to that, so he had to be a person. But he had to keep the law perfectly. Why did Jesus have to keep the law perfectly? So no one disobeys it. No. Huh? No, he had, to, he had to be divine to keep the law. Then he's perfectly obedient. Because if he could have died for your sins, he can't be dying for his own sins. So he had to have no sin. Jesus had no sins. He was perfect. He did everything exactly right. So, he had to be God in order to keep the law and rise from the dead. He had to be a man so that he could die and be subject to the law. So how Jesus, does that work, though? Huh? Like, how does he keep the law but also have to be under the law? You see, who makes the rules? God. God. So if you're God, then you make the rules. But if you're a person, then you're subject to the rules. It's like president. You can make the law and be subject to follow it. Um, well, almost. But the president has to follow the same laws that you do. Oh. Um. I mean, I understand. It's kind of like, if you're the police officer, you work the radar gun, but if you're in the, just driving the car, you have to follow the speed limit. Uh -huh. So Jesus, you know, he had to be under the law, subject to the law. He had to be, um, you know, just like us, but only God can keep the law perfectly. And so Jesus then, he could be the perfect sacrifice for sin. He didn't have any of his own sins to pay for. Okay? That make sense? Yep. Yeah. Sure? Yes. All right. So we're going to ask you that in like two seconds. One, two. Landon, why did Jesus have to be God? He did be subject to the law. Nope. <laughs> why not write it down? Why did he have to be God? No, you didn't. Stuff that we would go over down. Okay, try the other side. Why did he have to be human? Why did Jesus have to be human? Can I answer? Yes, you can answer. Why did, human or God? Which one? Human. Uh, to oh. die and to be under the law. Okay, why did he have to be God? To rise from the dead and to keep the law. Yes, very good. Let's go. We're going to write that down again so you can write it down, Landon. 
Or is it, is it all up here? It's all right there. That's right. It's like a steel trap. You'll, yeah. You'll never forget it. You'll never forget that. I'm not your victim. What is a lamp? Yes, Alright, now to help us understand more about who Jesus was, in the threefold office of Christ. I'm already on so, Mark's. Michaela, you look up Mark 138. It's on, it's on page 836. It's on page 837. 836. Okay. Landon, you look up Hebrews 7, 26 to 27. Isabel, look up John 18, 36 to 37. I'm forgotten. 18. The threefold office of Jesus. Three things that will help you remember who he was. 36. Right. We got more posters. Hmm? More posters. More posters, that's right. <laughs> what? How are you doing, Rachel? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Come on, wait till we have sound. It sounded like. Who? <laughs> Alright, Michaela, read your verse for me. <laughs> Please. Mark 1, 38. <laughs> you really blame me for that. <laughs> you. Deep breath. <sighs> okay, read the verse. For God. Name a prophet in the Bible. Wait, give me any prophet. The name of any prophet in the Bible. Hebrews. Does that sound like somebody's name? <laughs> oh, he. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Noah. Uh, Noah was not a prophet. Uh -huh. wait, That's not fair. <laughs> give me a prophet. Please. Um, any, any prophet. Who? Matthew. Peter. No, Peter was a disciple. Oh. Um, John was a disciple. He Matthew. Was a disciple. Matthew was a disciple. Joshua? Joshua was not a prophet. Ah. Joshua was a general. Wow. What about Micaiah? Zechariah. Zechariah was a prophet. Isaiah. Isaiah, prophet. Isaiah. Rome. Isaiah was a prophet. Rome. Rome. Jeremiah was a prophet. Rome. I was right. <laughs> Rome. Rome. Rome is a city. That's what not even a person. I swear what it was about, up here before. Peter. We Peter that. was a disciple. Genesis. Mark. Who's James? Mark was a disciple. Daniel. Luke. Daniel. James was one of Jesus' brothers. Daniel. Daniel was a prophet. Yes. What about Luke? Luke was a doctor. Matthew? Oh, Matthew was a tax collector. Mark? Mark was a disciple. He, he was just a guy. Timothy. Did you say Luke? No, Timothy was I, a disciple. Isaiah. Isaiah so right. was a prophet. Y'all are thinking for saying Hebrews. Hebrews. Prophets are in the Old Testament and they spoke for God. When Jesus comes along, he's the ultimate spokesman for God. Jesus. The Bible says that God spoke to his people of old in many ways, but now he has spoken to us by his son. So, Jesus is, um, he's the word in the flesh. Okay? So Jesus is a prophet. So, if I say, Isabel, how is Jesus a prophet? You're going to say, he speaks God's word. Okay? Speaks God's word. Can you do it? Oh, I should have said Jesus. Yeah. Can you do it two minutes from now? Wait. No. I'll hold it. Put, put your money where your mouth is. I don't have any money. I was uh, talking to Chandler. Oh, I have money. I have tons of money. You get tons of money? I have two dollars. Oh, there you go. I got a buck in my wallet. I spent all my money. Can I have that? Some jackets. Yeah. I'm broke. Right. That's a good idea. Isabel, Hebrew no. 7. Wait. Isabel, Hebrews 7, 26 to 27. You didn't tell me to do Hebrews. You told me to do John. Yeah, that was me. That was me. It's my turn. Okay, Hebrews 7, 26 to 27. Landon. There's a D on my Shh. homework. I wrote, I wrote a D on my homework by accident. Because you got a D. 
Are you oh, ready, Landon? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. For it was indeed fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, unstained, separate from sinners, and exhaled above the heavens. He has no need like those high priests to offer sacrifices daily, first for his own sins and then for those of the people, since he did this once for all when he offered up himself. Very good. So, Jesus is a priest. How is Jesus a priest? Because he spread the word. That's not what the Old Testament priests did. What did the priests do in the Old Testament? No. What the priests do in the Old Testament? Yeah. He teaches the word of the Lord. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, not really. No. The prophets spoke the word of the Lord. Exactly. Linda, what did the priests do in the Old Testament? I taught, I got wrong. What'd you say? I said, um, because he teaches, um, and he said it's wrong. That's not his primary job. What was the main job of the priest? Preaching. No. <laughs> That's the prophet. The prophet speaks God's word. What's the prophet do, Isabel? Speaks God, God's word. Thank you. Are y'all good? Are you guys okay? Are y'all high on cookies? I don't even know what's so funny. When people start laughing, I have to laugh. Are y'all high on Yo, cookies? She, <laughs> she said preaching when you said, what is preaching? <laughs> <laughs> y'all are not okay. A priest. Uh, what did I do? The job of the priest was to offer the I sacrifices. Okay. Oh, so if you're following the Old Testament law, and if you do something wrong, you have to bring a sacrifice to the temple. You give it to the priest, and the priest offers it up to God. Okay? What kinds of things? So, Landon, I'm going to ask you, how is Jesus a priest? And you're going to say he offers up sacrifice. We should actually write stuff down. Yeah, Landon. She, like, write stuff down. I do. What kind of sacrifices are we talking about? Lambs. What? Sometimes it was a lamb. It was not your body. Oh. <laughs> what about life? No. Offer sacrifice. What else? Lambs? Oh, like, like, um, um, money. They found money was not food. Money. You know how there's Cheetos dust? Water. No. I'm making cookie, cookie dust. I cookie want dust? Like, there's Cheetos oh, dust, but, like, know. I'm making a cookie for <laughs> It's like sanding it down. Are you, are you going to sell it? Certain sacrifices yeah. had to be lambs, goats, bulls, sometimes pigeons. Uh, sometimes some grain and sometimes some wine. Wait. And here's the thing. It had to be perfect. It had no defects, no flaws. You had to bring your best to God. And that reminded you that Jesus would come and give up his life to pay for all of your sins. So what does a, what does a priest do? Landon? Oh, I thought that was trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> How is it Jesus a priest, man? Oh, he offers sacrifices. Very good. Wait, I have a question. Okay. Have you seen have you ever seen a baby pigeon? No. No. Okay, what if What's pigeons are robots? People made them, and when they go into the electrical cords thingy, that's what they're retarded. No, no, no. Like I have I thought about this for like a whole hour. That's why some, when somebody runs over a pigeon, you don't see a bunch of metal pieces on the ground. Because, because, you see blood and guts. Because um, scientists made them look like that. Like My friends were debating whether a sliced meat or sliced turkey was better for sandwiches during lunch. What, what was that sound? Is it turkey meat? Yeah, like, you know, like, like sliced, like, oh, those are sliced oh, ham on it. Sliced versus, versus turkey? turkey. Oh, you know, like sliced so ham versus sliced, sliced like turkey. Like okay. that, they were debating, and it was like a whole fight. And there was a fight? Well, not like a fight fight, but they like so arguing like the whole class. Alright, who? Okay, the choice is either sliced turkey or sliced ham. Who's ordering the turkey? Oh. No. Who's getting the ham? Oh, wow, here it's three hams and one turkey. I mean, ham one last time, too. Who didn't raise their hand? Weirdo. You're a weirdo. What was that sound, by the way? Because it really scared me. <laughs> How is Jesus a priest, Landon? Offer sacrifices. That's right. What's the sacrifice that Jesus offered? That's not fair. Um, he... wait, wait, wait. The... What's the answer? The, the answer. It's the answer, The Landon. answer. It's me. The, the answer. answer. We don't know. The Jesus. Answer. Yes, Jesus. He offered up his Wait, so he <laughs> but does anyone know what sound was? It was a car. A it, it was a diesel truck. 
Wait, now we're gonna find what the It kept going. That's why it's like, what sound are you talking about? It was like, <laughs> in the background. Okay. And I thought it was trumpets <laughs> and it scared me. Trumpets? <laughs> Cause like, are you scared of trumpet sounds? <laughs> I mean, I have a trumpet. No, go like, get it, go God get it. Bring it, bring it. Bring it. Like when God comes back. Like when God comes back. I just thought of the best three idea times. ever. Three times. Wow. Okay. How is Jesus a prophet? Because mm. he speaks God's word. Okay, thank Salty you. cookie does. I thought it was a trumpet like when he comes back. That's why I got scared. Well, I'm not scared. Well, you I thought mean, Jesus was coming back? <laughs> <laughs> it was trumpet and we're here. So like, what are the odds of that? The Bible does say that when Jesus comes back, you will hear trumpet. the sound of the trumpet. I will be screaming. <laughs> I'll invite all the I don't doubt that for a minute. <laughs> I, I know you'll be screaming. Okay. Y'all <laughs> good? Don't give her cookies. Yeah, don't no, give her cookies. More. No more cookies. 18, 36, 37. Landon! Okay. okay. Without giggling, read it. Okay. Wait, okay. It's like actually salty now. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting that I might not be delivered over to the Jews, but <laughs> my kingdom is not from the world then. You laughing at Pi God? Late, polite, I, I don't know how to say it. P-I-L-A-T-E. Pilate. Oh, Pilate said to him, Bro, how do you so you are a king, Jesus answered. You say that I am a king. For this purpose I was born in for this purpose, I have come into the world to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is you can stop now. Wait, so Jesus I'm... is a king. King, that's right. What do kings do? They sit on their thrones. <laughs> and do what? I don't think they do this. Yeah, that, that's oh. one thing they don't do. They, they tell their jesters to come do. What, what is the job of a king? Rule over the land. He rules, that's right. Bless you. Oh, rule. Almost just broke the chair. And they bring. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. They're like the, the top of the food chain. The buck stops here. They are in charge of everything. So how is Jesus a king? Because he's um. He rules and reigns. He rules and reigns over everything. What does that mean? That means he is. Rules the land. What does that mean? You can't use the word in the definition. He like, he like, watches over the land. <laughs> Say more. That's, that's kind of shallow. I need a deeper answer. Watches over us. No. Then you say okay. it. What? Takes care of us. Okay, he takes care of us. Jesus. Um, that's, that's, if you're, if you're Alright, when a, when a rocket launches into space, Who's in charge? Me. Depends. Me. Depends on the situation. Okay, so manned mission to Mars, somebody's got to be in, like, the, 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 the person that, like, runs the whole show. Who is that? Depends. Is it the per Are you talking about the person on Mars or on, or on Earth? It's usually somebody on Earth. The mission control. Mission control. That's what I was looking for. There's always mission control. They kind of... They're the way they ask everybody. Propulsion, they say go. You know, life support, go. You know, fuel cells, go. Uh, he's the one who says, okay, start the countdown. We're good to go. So that's what it means to rule. He's like in charge of the whole thing. So is Jesus in charge of everything? No. But yes, not? yes, but yes. Isn't, didn't we just say he was a king? Yeah. Yes. And what do kings do, Chandler? Rule and reign. That's right. So if he's a king and he rules and he reigns, he must be in charge of everything. Are you okay? I ate the salted um cookie. Oh, the cookie, salted cookie dough. Yeah, I feel like the, the, the salt bomb bag and I poured it into here and you I that was a mistake. Oh. Ew. oh wait, is anyone oh, do yeah, that? Make like a little pudding. <laughs> Who wants to try the dust? It is really good. Don't don't go anywhere near. <laughs> I'll make her even more. Look, I like I love special bits. All right, so how is Jesus a priest, Landon? He offers sacrifices. Did you really have to read that off the paper? <laughs> I forgot. And how well, is he a king, Chandler? How is Jesus a king? He rules and reigns. That's right. And how is he a prophet? 
He speaks God's word. That's right. So anytime I ask you, what is the threefold office of Christ, you will say, prophet, what will you say? Priest king. Prophet, priest, and king. That's right. Prophet, priest, and king. We are. We are. Okay, we are. Well, I, I have something, okay? Okay, Sorry. please. Okay, so you have a trumpet, right? Yes. No, okay. let's have one. So you should, you should, you should bring the trumpet. And okay. he, like what? So when he gets here, you should like not be sober. You you can you're probably good. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You, you said I trumpet. should not be sober. No. <laughs> I mean, you should I do that? No, you should be. You should. You should have, be. Everybody has to be you somewhere, be, right? You should be like right. Hold on. Will we be loud? And when you we come back? Will we be like this? <laughs> like to wake everyone up? I believe so. Will it, will it be daytime or nighttime? No, that would suck. You're sleeping at 3 o'clock in the morning. You should, play your you should be behind this wall and play your trumpet when he. I would go. I would see. Yeah, him. and you should scare him. We should play sardines. Of course, yes. in the Bible. That's the last thing he told us. In the Bible, it, it doesn't look like the kind of trumpet you see in a band. Oh. It was like a big, long ram's horn that they blew. I want a ram's horn. Well. Get on Amazon and buy one. You know, stop the order on those stupid jackets you bought. They're not stupid. How do you need three jackets? Because they look cool. Can we play sardines? We, are. No, we have time. Maybe. We'll see. Shoes are better. Maybe. I have so many shoes. I have a bunch of shoes. Josh, last week, oh, let's teach uh, more. Sardines is kind of like... <gasps> she's Wait, never played. Can I explain it, please? What if she's not here on the last okay, so day? And you're like, oh my gosh. gosh. The last class... Before Christmas, we played sardines. So sardines is like, oh. She's tall. She'd be good at us. Say please. <laughs> please, shut up. Okay. <laughs> so, so one person hides, and like we all have to try to find them. And if you find them, you have to hide with them. You can't tell other people that you found them. So like if I'm in the fridge, you have to hide in the fridge or near the fridge. Mm -hmm. So it's like opposite of hide and seek, yeah. where everybody hides and one person we seeks. We have to play. One person we hides, the and everybody else has to find them. He said maybe, so we be quiet and we finish oh, our wait. lesson. What time is it? He said maybe, so if we be well, quiet and we finish the last thing. No, off topic. Don't laugh at me. Yeah, it's, 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 it's 627, so we have like 30 minutes. Okay. Just shush. We don't have time to do that. Oh, yeah. But this is all you have to tell me the threefold office of Christ. King, prophet, priest. All right. So. I can't believe oh, how is Jesus a priest, Landon? He offers sacrifices. All right. And how is he a king? He rules and reigns. And how is he a prophet? He speaks God's word. Okay. Oh, Chandler, why did Jesus have to be human? Um, to die and to be under the law. Okay. And why did he have to be divine, Landon? That's a hard one. That's not fair. But you wrote it down, so it should be easy. Thank you. He rose from the dead and to keep the law. Okay. <laughs> And what does Christ mean? What does Christ mean? Anointed one. And what does Jesus mean? Oh, um, Savior. All right. We're doing really good. That was not bad at all. So you have to have a closing prayer. Of course it was. Okay. Can I say always it? blew it. You can say the closing prayer. Okay. No, I'm going to say it. No, can I say it? I actually need to, like, really no, want to no, say it. No, no, it's too, it's too. No, I was, I'm like, going to go away. Unless anyone wants this dust, I'll throw it away. No, it's my turn. No, I'm going. Nope. Because Lane is my brother, he and I went this morning, he has to, he has to go. I'm adopted, sorry. No, oh, you're not. <laughs> you came out of the dumpster. Actually, I came out a little bit. Okay. For um, the adoration, actually, you, can do it. you have to use I the letter to... R. R? Oh. Responsible. Okay, 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 okay. Romain. Did you say Romain? <laughs> Romain. Like amazing. No, okay, 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 okay. okay I got Are you ready? All right. Um, dear God, you are really responsible. I'm sorry for not doing all my schoolwork and just putting it off. Thank you for letting Michaela visit on the weekends. And please help uh, my friend's mom um, heal. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, I'm not going to...